Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our morning prayer for Friday, the 10th of July. Um, great to have you join us. Um, we'll be following the um, just a daily prayer app that's available on Android and Apple. Um, I loosely follow the app, should I say. Um, so do just kind of follow through with us uh, as best as you can. Uh, but shall we just pause for a moment as we begin this day and actually commit it to God. My Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Now come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving, and be glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the depths of the earth, and the heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have moulded the dry land. Come. Let us worship and bow down and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God. We are the people of the sheep of his hand. Whether today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts as at Meribah on that day of Massa in the wilderness, when your forebears tested me and put me to the proof, though they had seen my works. Forty years long I detested that generation and said, these people are wavered in their hearts. They do not know my ways. So I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. So the night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so in the light of your presence, O God, so the hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. So our appointed psalm for this day is, well, there's always two, uh, this is really long. Uh, it's 88 and 95. So we'll do the, the slightly longer one two. We'll do the first, 88. O oh Lord, God of my salvation, I cry day and night before you. Let my prayer come into your presence. Incline your ear to my cry. For my soul is full of troubles. My life draws near to the land of death. I am counted as one gone down to the pit. I am like one that has no strength. Lost among the dead, like the slain who lie in the grave. Whom you remember no more. For they are cut off from the land. You have laid me in the lowest pits, in a place of darkness in the abyss. Your anger lies heavy upon me, and you have afflicted me with all your waves. You have put my friends far from me, and made me and made me to be abhorred by them. I am so fast in prison that I cannot get free. My eyes fail from all my trouble. Lord, I have called daily upon you. I have stretched out my hand to you. Do you work wonders for the dead? Will the shade stand up and praise you? Shall your loving kindness be declared in the grave, your faithfulness in the land of destruction? Shall your wonders be known in the dark, or your righteous deeds of the land where all is forgotten? But as for me, O Lord, I will cry to you. Early in the morning my prayer shall come before you. Lord, why have you rejected my soul? Why have you hidden your face from me? I have been wretched, and at the point of death from my youth, I suffer your terrors and am no more seen. Your wrath sweeps over me. Your horrors are come to destroy me. 
all day long they come about sorry all day long they come about me like water they close me in on every side lover and friend have you put far from me and hid my companions out of my sight and then i refrain you are my refuge my portion in the land of the living in the depths of our isolation we cry to you lord god give light in our darkness and bring us out of the prison of our despair through jesus christ our lord glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and shall be forever amen So our Old Testament, if you wish to follow, if you like, offline and pause, is Judges chapter 17. Uh, but I tend to skip over the Old Testament, not because it's not valuable and important, because I, I love, I genuinely love the Old Testament. I think it's wonderful narrative and story. And actually, if you struggle with the Old Testament, I always say just listen to it. Get it on podcast or audio cast or whatever, whatever it is. And listen to the Old Testament. Um, it's a beautiful narrative. Um, but for the sake of brevity, uh, I'm going to skip forward and go to the Gospel reading. Luke 19, 1 to 10. He entered Jericho and was passing through it. A man was there named Zacharias. He was a chief ta tax collector and was rich. He was trying to see who Jesus was, but on account of the crowd, he could not, because he was too short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree to see him, because he's going to pass that way. When Jesus came to the place, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for I must stay at your house today. So he hurried down and was happy to welcome him. All who saw it began to grumble and said, He's gone to the guest of one who is a sinner. Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Look, half of my possessions, Lord, I will give to the poor. And if I've defrauded anyone of anything, I'll pay you back four times as much. Then Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because he too is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek out and to save the lost. I know yesterday I kind of just briefly talked, because I always just talk off the cuff about these things, about actually the one who shouted out that he might encounter Christ. And I suppose that challenge for us about how desperate are we to encounter Jesus. And you then have a very similar narrative about Zacchaeus, actually a short individual who's so desperate to see Jesus, he races ahead and climbs a tree. Um, how Back to that point yesterday are, are we desperate to encounter jesus are we so casual in our approach to jesus that we don't really care one day to the next whether we encounter jesus or don't you know do we retain something of the blind man yesterday of zacchaeus today where we're just desperate every day to encounter jesus because when we encounter Jesus in a real, authentic way, there's transformation. I mean, we've we, we got a tax collector who's clearly accumulated an awful lot of stuff. And then that encounter, his life is transformed. He offers to give away half of it, half of it, to those in need and to pay back fourfold anyone he's done wrong to. That's the transformation that takes place in our lives. I wonder, and actually maybe sometimes that's why we're reluctant to encounter Jesus too much, because we're reluctant to be transformed. Actually, that's the reality of authentic, of authentic encounters and authentic transformation, that genuine meeting of Jesus. May we chase after Jesus more and more and more not less as we come down come out of lockdown but more 
to our Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who, have come, who has come to his people and set them free. He's raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his son, David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophets of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. So I'm going to pray. Um, I've got a couple just from the Allen Chapel that I want to pray for as well. There's a, a family in particular who have come in recently and it's the young boys who have written these prayers as they've sadly said goodbye to their granddad. So we're going to pray for them as a family. Lord, we pray for this family who have sadly said goodbye to their granddad. And I guess for the other family members said goodbye to a father. We pray for them, O Lord, that you might strengthen and comfort and be their consolation at this time. Father, would you meet with them in the depths of their pain and loss? Father, would you give them hope and a revelation of your kingdom? Father, would you walk with and beside them, we pray. For others who are, le who are grieving the loss of somebody dear to them, friend or family member. Father, we pray that you might be with them also. For those who we know who are struggling with worry and anxiety, with loneliness and isolation, with fear and depression. Lord, we name them now before you. And for our nation as it seeks to find its way for all the economic turmoil, the anxiety of job security, the uncertainty of future. Lord, we pray for our nation. Lord, we pray for your churches, no matter denomination. We pray for the leaders of those churches. Father, give wisdom and direction as we have the opportunity to reimagine church, not about being a gathered people, but a dispersed people. Father, do something through and in your church, we pray throughout our land. We pray for our bishops as they seek to give godly wisdom and leadership.
Can we pray for ourselves? Lord, keep us close to you. And set within us a desire to meet with you. To spend time with you. To be enthralled by you. The merciful Father, I accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And so our collect for this day. O God, the protector of all who trust in you, without whom nothing is strong, nothing is holy, increase and multiply upon us your mercy, that with you as our ruler and guide, we may so pass through things temporal, that we lose not our hold on things eternal. Grant this, Heavenly Father, for our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So we'll say this together, the Lord's Prayer in the contemporary form. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, I hope you have a, a great day. Um, please do like, share, subscribe. Keep in contact with one another. Um, keep in prayer and look forward to seeing you in due course. God bless. Bye now.